may not be seeing green grass or leaves on the trees just yet, but the color green is showing up everywhere for St. Patrick's Day. I'm here at McCabe's Irish Pub on King Street in downtown Kitchener, where they've held the biggest St. Patrick's Day celebration in the region for the the past two years. This is our third year being open, so it'll be our third annual St. Patrick's Day um, extravaganza, I like to call it, because we hold a lot of people, 695 to tell the truth. It was this year we're actually going to open up the day at 9 a.m. and we're going to give everyone a, um, basically, an Irish brunch. So we're opening the doors, 9 a.m., Irish brunch, and then we'll start serving and start the taps flowing at exactly 11 a.m. Even if you don't drink beer, you can still celebrate. For karaoke one year, had green St. Patty's antlers and everything, yep. Kiss Me, I'm Irish t-shirt, the whole nine yards. And McCabe's will have live entertainment to get everyone in the spirit. So we actually have Irish dancers that come in. So we have Irish dancers that are scheduled to um, uh, do a couple of di different little exhibitions throughout the day. We have live entertainment in the afternoon, live entertainment at the night time. So it's, uh, it's more of a good natured, good time, come out, pub feel, the real sort of ambassador of uh, St. Patrick's Day. Actually, that sounds like a lot of fun. If I could, I would. But for those that love beer any day, you're in for a fun green treat. People love the green beer, non-stop with the green beer. Paint the world green. And it's a kind of a fun day because for one day, everyone's Irish for a day. For Spoke Online, I'm Kayla McPherson.